Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Once again, my name is Dana from Dinky Don, Dinky Don Jewelry. And I'm coming to you today with the review on two patterns actually. Um, I'm reviewing the McCall 6650 pattern and I'm also reviewing a Butterick pattern. Um, it's the lifestyle version of the pattern, pattern 5760 from the Butterick's lifestyle collection. Um, what I will say about the McCall's 6650 pattern is that it is um, actually pretty easy if you follow the directions to the T. Um, the satin fabric that I chose to work with this was um, actually a, it was a pretty good choice. However, I did not like the fact that the fabric frayed a lot. Um, and you have to stay stitch although the pattern didn't require you to stay stitch you know certain aspects of it but just because of sewing I know that I have to um, I have to stay stitch you know the um, areas just to stop it from fraying so I can you know so the um, <clears throat> dislikes I have on the butter or, excuse me the McCall's pattern the 6650 is that it requires a lot of fabric for the necktie portion of the um, shirt. Um, I believe it's a yard and three-fourths just for the actual necktie, which is a lot of fabric, you know, for that, that tie portion. I believe you could have probably did without so much fabric if they would have had just maybe slimped down the bowl a little bit but other than that it really turned out to be a beautiful shirt and I do see myself making this shirt again um, on the the butter egg lifestyle collection 5760 I just made the trouser um, out of that collection it comes with um, a trouser a jacket a jacket dress and a cardigan and then I think I believe it's a skirt as well and out of that I've only I only made the um, trouser out of that the pattern is actually fairly easy it's only I believe four pieces to that pattern um, it's fairly easy the one thing I did have a difficulty with what well, was with the instructions on the installation of the zipper um, I was finding that a little bit challenging with the actual zipper portion of it and it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to but I mean you know who cares I made it it looks great and I'm gonna rock it um, the dislikes I did only thing I disliked about it was the actual zipper and that you had to um, hand stitch the inside of the um, the the uh, top part of the pant where you you know where the where you do the uh, the clasp or which whatever you call that to keep the 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 pants on a thing it's called the eye and hook so yeah your eye and hook you have to stay stitch that part down and other than that, um, it was a fairly, fairly easy pattern. I think I spent more time on the actual zipper portion of it than I did with the construction of the whole pant. Um, here, I paired my outfit that I made with a couple of my own creations. And then also a belt that I picked up out of a Kato's, which is was on sale for like $1.99. And I also paired it with a pair of of brown um, loafer wedges which I got from DSW and I don't believe I paid much maybe $30 at the most I don't really remember how much I paid for it and then also I have a couple of my own um, items I have the wrap bracelet that I made out of um, you know glass pearls as well as the earrings out of the same beads as well as the clutch that I made out of the ostrich faux leather um, with a lining of a uh, leopard print. All, for the most part, the, the outfit came together pretty seamlessly. It took me about a day to make the whole garment. Um, I did some of my pre-cutting as far as my fabrics and my um, 
my pattern I cut that out like days before before I actually did the construction of everything and um, yeah it came out great so you know tell me what you think you can either leave me a comment or you can um, thumbs up or thumbs down and tell me how do you like this outfit I will be posting at the end of this video my next um, my next item that I will be sewing and I will show you um, the look on that and how that came together and I will be doing a review on that pattern as well so let me know what you think bye divas